Hey guys, how you doing? This is Dan with Legacy Homes. As we knew it and as we were expecting, nobody thought it was going to come this quickly, but we are now in a market shift. So if you haven't seen the news already or seen social media or possibly any other type of uh, recording news information, the market's definitely shifting and changing. So it's been the seller's market for well over two years. Home prices have went dramatically over 28%. And now tides are changing. So definitely the seas are changing. And I want to share with you a little more information that I see that's happening today, June 15th in 2022. So I'm going to go through a couple websites, actually going to show today's mortgage rates, as well as what the market's doing, inventory, as well as price reductions as well. So where we're going from here? Well, let's see what we're going at. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you right now. So take a look what's going on today. Okay, so first of all, I want to be able to show with you, share with you uh, what's going on with the market rates. So if you follow with me in real-time reports, I have a cool website I want to share with you that I shared with you before. It's called Mortgage uh, News Daily. Now, today's interest rates for a conventional loan, which is up in Riverside County, goes up to a loan base amount with a little bit below $650,000. So rates have jumped up to 6.22%. Uh, the FHA rates are about 5.62%, which these are predominantly majority of the types of loans. I would say about 65% of the loans uh, that we currently use with our buyers are purchasing homes. Now, what's even more shocking is look at the rates over a year ago. I'm going to scroll down on our queue. If we look over a year ago, we have the 30-year fix. We're actually up almost double the amount which is we were a little bit below uh, 3%, and now we're well over 6.22, so we have over a 3% increase. And FHA loans for 30-year fix, we're up almost 3% as well. So just with this basic chart, we're showing that we're almost twice as high in the interest rate. So what it's doing to the market is kind of really shocking, which is we're expecting. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I place an online uh, video as well. It's kind of letting you know what's going on with the market, but we're seeing definitely effects now even more dramatic than we did um, over two or three weeks ago. So if we look at market real time, it went on to Altos Research. It's a phenomenal uh, country uh, research uh, online uh, program that actually we're able to tap into to be able to give us true data reports as of today. And it goes across the whole country. So all the way out to Florida, Texas, um, but more specifically, we're able to zone in a specific areas. So in our general area, if you actually follow the screen here, we actually have a, a real-time market report of the median uh, home prices are dipping down a bit, which is now at 689000 which is crazy by itself. Um, the average per square footage, if you look at the report, is $356 per square foot. But more interesting, what I want you to look at is what our market trend is doing. We're actually seeing about 30% of the homes on the market in Riverside City take price reductions. So we see an increase of inventory. Now right here, it kind of shows of a seller's market as well as a buyer's market demand. And basically how they assess this is the climbing of inventory as well as the decrease in the purchasing power. So we show last month that the purchasing power was definitely stronger and we're seeing a trend that is definitely becoming more and more dramatic and obvious that we are going into a dipping market. Now, traditionally, we usually have June as our peak market anyways. We have an increase in inventory. Interest rates typically creep up a little bit, but not this dramatic. So we're definitely seeing a definitely indication of home prices uh, adjusting. We're seeing home prices adjust anywhere between 2 and 3% just in the last 30 days. We're probably gonna see a little bit more of that um, as the months come, but as of today in a real market report, we're seeing about 30% of the homes on the current market take price reductions. Now, if we look a little bit lower, we're seeing right here on the inventory report on the Altos Research uh, portal that we're seeing a dramatic increase. If we look here in April, all the way up to today, we're seeing a huge increase. Now, traditionally, year over year, we usually see a, a trend that goes up and down anyways, but just this last 30 to 45 days, we're seeing a huge increase of inventory. So that definitely has a lot of facts, definitely a lot of information, and it definitely incentivizes more inventory. So we're going to look here a little bit below on the Altos. Now, every market is a little bit different depending on the home price points. You know, homes are with a million, homes in the average price point, as well as entry-level homes. Well, now we're seeing an entry-level home 
in Riverside, about 1,200 square feet. But the entry level home now is 530,000 versus the way it was about two and a half, three years ago. Entry level homes were more about 380,000. So the dramatic price increase is well over 150,000 has um, gone into home prices. So your entry level buyer basically had an increase of a home payment of almost about 12 to $1,300 per month, the way it was three years ago. So what we're seeing now is um, three main things I wanna uh, point out. So not only are we seeing home prices being staggeringly high, we're actually seeing our days on market increase. Now, up until about 30 to 45 days ago, we started seeing our home prices creep up um, as far as the days on market, as well as inventory. And just in the last um, 30 days to 45 days, we had a huge increase of interest rates, which obviously is having a direct effect on the market itself. So all in all, now for homes around the entry level price point of 530,000, we're having 14 days on market, which probably last year at this time, average days on market was more about four days on market. So we've quadrupled that, as well as our median house price, where as we saw up here earlier at 689,000, which is predominantly this price point, has not got up to 17 days on the market. Again, a year ago at this time, homes were staying on the market an average of five days, which it went about three times the day's amount. And then homes priced over a million dollars was the jumbo rates um, is jumping up to 21 days. Uh, again, home prices have um, jumped up dramatically in the last year and a half, as well as time dates on market is now starting to creep up as well. Even the million dollar homes were um, selling within probably seven to 10 days. Those ones haven't uh, creeped up days on market as much as the lower price homes, but we definitely see an increase in inventory as we see uh, new listings popping up in the last week. In the last seven days, we're seeing about 20 uh, uh, homes popping up on the market with the lower end properties, 25 homes, 21 homes at 15 days home. So we're definitely seeing a direct effect of home prices are now starting to settle. So if you actually have been looking to purchase home in the last possibly two years and got beat out by other buyers or just more uh, investors that were coming in now bidding you with cash offers or making offers way over the asking price, you know what? Tides are shifting. So if you are still looking for a property, you want more data, and whether you're a seller or buyer, feel free to reach out to us. We love what we do. We're staying on top of the market and tides are shifting quickly. Again, let's take a quick look at what market rates are doing as of today uh, versus history wise. So hopefully that screen doesn't pop down. Uh, as of today, June 15th, we're seeing a uh, conventional loans at 6.22 on average, as well as we're seeing the FHA at 5.62. So versus a year ago, they definitely were um, quite a bit lower, which is obviously taking a direct effect on the market. So all in all, sellers, I just want to say we're still well above we were three years ago. So even if we do dip down, I would say another 5%, we're still well over 15% higher than we were 18 months ago. So kudos to you, fantastic. I don't predict a market crash per se, even if the market does dip about 15%, which we could, we're still well above what the market average is. Typically on a year over year transition, we have an increase of 6% and we went four times national average. So even if we take a dip down to even 10, 15%, we're still above the national average. So you're still making a killing on the sales. Buyers, the, the tides have not been in your corner um, over the last two years, but now because the market has shifted, you may have the opportunity to get into the housing prices. Um, a lot of things are happening because home uh, interest rates have gone up. Your competition of buyers are now being less qualified. So if you are in a particular price point and the interest rates haven't directly affected you uh, directly, your competition has definitely dropped. So it gives you a better advantage. So you want to put the best odds in your favor. So if you're still looking for a property, like I stated, reach out to us. We'd love to help you. Take care. And uh, thanks for listening to this Marketing Minute. Okay, take care and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.